Good morning, LHS. Today is Friday, May 2nd, 2014. Seniors, that means only 15 days of school and two days of exams. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dom Tiberi from WBNS-TV came to share about Maria's message. Maria, Tiberi's daughter, was killed in a car accident from distracted driving. Mr. Tiberi came to LHS to tell his story about distracted driving at the Prom Promise event. 10.38, she left, she got in her car, she didn't even get three miles from our house and hit the back of a semi-truck at 53 miles an hour. We're not sure what happened. We know she wasn't drinking, she wasn't on drugs, she wasn't texting, she wasn't on the phone, and yet something distracted her guys some five minutes after leaving our house and she died there on the highway. We didn't find out immediately. 2.25, I'm sitting in my chair, I call it the worry chair, and I was, to be honest with you, I was kind of hacked off because she wasn't home yet. Said she wasn't going to be late. And I sat there and I waited and I waited. And 2.25 in the morning, I heard the dogs barking and I heard a car door shut. My heart fluttered and I said, thank God. Thank God she's home. 2.27 in the morning, the doorbell rang five times. And I'm going, what the heck is she doing? Her mom's got to get up at four in the morning. I mean, it was fast. It sounded louder than normal. I got up and something didn't seem right. And I walked down the hall, I looked out the window, the door, and there's seven policemen standing there. 2.27 in the morning. I opened the door, and you know, your heart is in your throat. And the chief of police said, uh, Dom, did Maria drive a red car? And I said, yes. I said, I don't know how to tell you this, but she was in a horrible accident and she didn't survive. What I would like to do and what I would like to see is all of you to sign Maria's pledge today. But I don't want you to do it if it's just lip service and if you're doing it because you're just going to appease your mom or dad or your teacher or whatever. Because don't do it. Don't waste my time. Don't waste your time. If you think what I'm telling you is BS, God bless you. I hope nothing happens to you. But if you're serious and you're, you're really interested in making change, then I want you to sign this. And students were given the option to sign Maria's message along with LHS's prom promise to stay sober on prom night. Thank you, Mr. DeBerry, for sharing such an important message with us. The marketing class and LHS needs your help this Memorial Day. We want to display over 7,000 flags on our campus to remind us that we should be appreciate the freedoms we enjoy and the cost at which those freedoms were acquired. This Memorial Day, Lancaster High School is trying to remind students, staff, and the community that we should appreciate the freedoms that we enjoy and the cost at which those freedoms were acquired. Our school will be displaying over 1,500 to 7,000 flags on the campus lawn to honor the servicemen and women who have sacrificed for our country. Donations of any size are appreciated. A receipt will be provided with every contribution. Checks can be made payable to Lancaster High School. Realizing that knowledge is power and a critical component to prevention, the health classes at LHS offered a two-day presentation on common STDs, the organisms that cause them, and behaviors that put a person at risk. Students were not required to attend the event and were given the option to opt out. I'm always lost. I can never find any of my classes. I wish there was somebody who could help me out. Hey, Billy. I'm here to help. Mom? No. I'm your GFF. Let's go find your classes. Give your schedule in. Yeah, sure. What do you have first period? Social studies. Social studies to do. Thanks, man. Yeah, that's my kind of night.
<laughs> and don't forget, today is the deadline to sign up to become a GFF. It took me so long, but then I decided that I wanted a graduation DVD. LHS graduation DVDs are for those who are a little more sensitive with their high school memories. LHS graduation DVDs. LHS students Jay Singh and Dusty Sorensen placed first at State Science Olympiad Contest. The team of Jay Singh and Dusty Sorensen placed first in the chemistry event at the State Science Olympiad Contest this past Saturday. Second in the material science event was the team of Jacob Pruder and Jay Singh, while Jackson Brigman and Jay Singh placed seventh in the Mag Lev event. The Lancaster High School team finished 23rd out of 40 teams who qualified for the state competition. Only two Fairfield County schools qualified for the state competition with LHS placing ahead of Pickerington Central High School to become the top school in Fairfield County. Congratulations to the LHS choir who earned a superior rating at the state contest. The Chamber Singers and the 6th Period Women's Ensemble each earned superior ratings at the Ohio Music Education Association state contest last Saturday while the 1st Period Women's Ensemble received a rating of excellent. Our Chamber Singers received straight superior ratings from all four judges for the fourth straight year at the state contest. A total of 150 students in three of the six choirs at LHS competed in the state contest. And here's a message from the marketing department about big brothers and big sisters. Why should you become a big brother or a big sister? Because you're making a difference in these child's lives. Um, every time you go there, somebody is expecting you, and it's just... It's just a great feeling knowing that you can do that for this child. What can you expect as a big? As a big, you can expect a weekly commitment. If you're not going to be there or show up, then there's no point in doing it because you don't want to give a little kid the hope of someone being there for them and then no one being there at all. What experience can you gain by being a big? Um, well, personally, I've, uh, I've actually gone to be Big Brother of the Year, so that's opened up a lot of opportunities for me in the community and connections to other people that can give me references in the future. Um, it's also tell me, taught me a lot about uh, control, uh, patience, and selflessness. Is being a big right for you? To be a big, you have to have around a 3.0 GPA, and you have to have a flexible schedule because you need at least two periods during your school day to work with a little sister. You also um, do not need to have transportation. We can provide transportation for you if there's no way for you to get to the school. How can you sign up to become a big? See Mrs. Wooten in the guidance office and fill an application to see if you meet the requirements. Something big starts with something little. Well, that's all we have for you today, LHS. I'm Hunter Staley, and remember, this weekend is prom, so all you seniors out there, be safe and have an awesome time.